In this video, we're going to learn about mild hybrid technology, what it is, how it works, what you can expect from the driver's seat. My name's Justin Pritchard, and to help us illustrate the latest in electrified powertrain tech, this is the Mercedes E450 sedan. We're focusing on the engine in this video. It's called the M256 and it's a 3 liter straight 6 turbo that I've now logged about 6,000 kilometers of testing on between several models including the E450 on your screen, the all-terrain wagon version that I showed you recently, and the high performing E53 AMG coupe that I showed you last year. In my E450 sedan tester, it's 362 horsepower and 369 pounds of torque from the gasoline engine. But that engine is fitted with something Mercedes calls EQ Boost, that's the name for their mild hybrid system. In a nutshell, the engine is fitted with additional hardware that allows it to generate electricity as you drive around, store that electricity in a dedicated battery, and apply it directly to the engine when required for an electric boost in power and efficiency. It's called a mild hybrid because the system is relatively simple, compact, and less complex than those found in regular hybrid cars, or full hybrids. Rather than building an entire hybrid driveline, a mild hybrid setup like EQ Boost takes a simpler approach of adding additional hardware to the vehicle's existing powertrain. In the case of the M256 engine, the starter and alternator are replaced with a single unit called the Integrated Starter Generator or ISG. It gives the engine the ability to self-recharge a 48 volt battery as you drive around and directly call on that electricity using it to boost power and efficiency. It's all automatic and seamless. Here's a time lapse of the EQ Boost gauge. When you see red, it's boost, electricity being sent to the engine, boosting its output without using extra fuel. When you see green, it's charging, electricity is being generated and stored. And from the driver's seat, that continual supply of electricity extends your highway cruising range, adds up to 21 horsepower to the engine on demand, dramatically enhances low rev throttle response, and boosts torque output. In a mild hybrid like this, the electric system can't drive the car directly. If you're accelerating, the gasoline engine is running. So with this setup, it's more about giving you stronger acceleration without using additional fuel, and also completely smoothing out the power delivery since the electric motor boosts the engine hardest at very low revs, which is exactly where turbocharged gasoline engines like this one tend to be the least responsive. From the driver's seat, use comfort or eco modes and its deep second gear starts off the line as the engine, EQ boost system and turbocharger maximize the use of that deep low end torque to glide the car up to speed quietly and swiftly. It's nearly electric smooth, nearly electric quiet, and you get a boatload of torque delivered on a linear wave. Whether out of a light or during passing and merging, power delivery is free of the lagging and surging sensation typical of turbocharged engines, and that's more power, better response, less fuel, and an engine that's quieter more of the time since you never really have to get it spinning fast enough to hear it. But sport mode is where the heavier footed drivers will want to be. Here, the EQ Boost system puts the emphasis on sharper throttle response, and the E450 leaps off the line with electric torque down low that's surprisingly hard hitting and keeps the momentum building as the electric boost ramps down in sync with the turbocharged boost ramping up. And again, from behind that wheel, it's just smooth, quiet, and rich pulling power. Watch your speed though. The thrust is nearly silent but very strong, a recipe for accidental speeding if you're not careful. Around town, this electrified engine pleases the driver with throttle response and acceleration that's notably quieter, more responsive, and especially smoother. On the highway, merging, passing, or steep hills are usually handled without the need to gear down. Again, press that accelerator a little and you've got immediate electric response that helps glide you along. The same mild hybrid tech also stretches the fuel range, meaning less stops to fill up. Combined fuel economy is rated at 9.2 liters per 100 kilometers. You could literally put more gas through a Toyota Camry. So with EQ Boost on the scene, you get a smooth and quiet 362 horsepower punch with all-wheel drive and with about the same fuel bill as a much less powerful front-wheel drive family sedan. And that's the sort of win-win situation the shopper in this pricing ballpark expects. A significant performance advantage, a significant refinement advantage, and all the while, while burning less fuel to do it. Thank you for watching. My name's Justin Pritchard for driving.ca. Until next time, take care and drive safe.